Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all. And today is yet again another giveaway day. And this, my friends, is probably one of the coolest reels on the market. It's kind of a niche reel, but for the last couple of weeks, I've been using it uh, kind of outside of its intended purpose. But before we get into this, I, I just want to do a quick recap of what we've given away so far in the last month and a half or so. Uh, we've given away the brand spanking new Shimano SLX that I went ahead and super tuned, polished all the good bits and upgraded the drags and all that kind of stuff. So the gentleman who won it now has himself a... Uh, a pretty impressive little reel for a hundred bucks. Uh, the next reel we gave away was a Japanese domestic market only Daiwa Theory spinning reel in the 3500 size. And that made its way, I hope it's gotten there. I, I haven't checked the tracking in the last day or so. Uh, but that's going all the way out to <laughs> New South Wales. <laughs> that's a long way away. Uh, and this, my friends, uh, is what we're gonna be giving away today. And before I show it to you, I just wanna give you guys a rundown on how you can enter to win this reel. It's very simple. All you have to do is leave a comment on my upcoming Penn Spinfisher 6 review. And uh, spoiler alert, if you're kind of on the fence whether or not you wanna buy this reel, uh, in my opinion, this is the best reel uh, under the Saragossa. And I've said it on the forums and I've said it in the comment sections already. Uh, you gotta kind of think long and hard uh, whether you uh, you feel that the, the upgrade in the drag is worth uh, the price of admission between the Saragossa SW and the Slammer 3. That's how good this reel and this reel and this reel have been performing. And my use, Elias's use, uh, Denny Snook from South Florida, uh, who's a commercial land-based fisherman who's been torturing that reel since June. All of us, anybody I know that's fished it, has nothing but great things to say about it, which is... Coming from a non, we'll just say it, I'm a pen hater. <laughs> I don't like their spinning reels. Other than Torque and the, and the, the Pen Z, I really haven't seen much from them that have, uh, has impressed me. And this has just, just blown my mind. It's that good of a reel. It's Shimano smooth, great drag, very powerful. I've been trying to break it and it, it performs like new. So with all that being said and that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. This, my friends, is the JDM Daiwa Kyoga. And if you look here, see that little purple insignia? I think that's representative of the species in Japan they kind of aim this reel to use for targeting them. And that's a cutlass fish. What a cool looking animal that thing is. I think Elias... I, I think I distinctly remember in his thumbnail that he caught this chrome looking... Uh, ribbon eel-like fish that might have been the same species or the uh, Atlantic version and uh, <laughs> it's a, this is a cool reel now I have not been using this reel as its intended uh, purpose or for its intended purpose uh, in the Northeast on the Atlantic waters this would be a excellent tog jigging reel a lot of guys use 20 pound braid or under for that they tie in a leader and they just drop straight down over structure and pull out togs on the, the latest uh, craze, which is tog jigging. Uh, you can use this for dropping down Ava jigs for striped bass. It is uh, designed for shallow jigging. Uh, if you're a slow pitch jig fan and you want to kind of downsize your presentation, this is a spectacular reel for that. But I've been using this for the more broader uh, audience. I've been using this for freshwater bass. I slapped on a Abu Garcia handle I had lying around uh, for I think 30 or 40 bucks. You can order the SLP Works Daiwa handle that'll fit this. Uh, just get a double paddle bass handle. Uh, it's an excellent casting reel, although you can't be a complete newbie. You, you got to know what you're doing. It breaks centrifugally and it only uses two pins. So it's kind of like an uh, Abu Garcia round reel. It's a non-disengaging uh, non level wind, which means, oh, let me loosen that up. When you turn the spool either direction, the line's gonna be paying out. So when you cast, the level line goes back and forth. Uh, that's pretty good for up close pitching and, and you know structure fishing for largemouth bass. I've used it for every application I would use a Calcutta TEDC or any round reel or any pitching and flipping reel for that matter. And it's performed flawlessly. Uh, capacity is relatively shallow. Uh, if you're trying to spool up with 50 pound braid, uh, you're only going to get around 75 yards. Uh, so it's where it's kind of where this reel 
really does drill down to a narrow specification of using lighter lines and such. But for swim baits, you're not casting 75 yards anyway 99% of the time. So for freshwater applications, uh, we're using big baits. This will do beautifully. Uh, it's mag sealed, although I don't know where it is. It might be at the pinion support bearing inside here. I haven't been inside this reel and haven't been inside any of the Saltiga Bay Jigging reels, which is what this is uh, based on. So this is like your Ryoga Bay Jigger, your Saltiga Bay Jigger. Um, this is a 100 size frame and it has kind of a shallow spool, which I mentioned earlier. And guys, look, look, how, look how cool looking this thing is. I don't know about you guys, but the whole purple looking dark wing dark color motif I, I, I like it. I like it. Uh, it's 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 just cool looking. Anodized purple is a badass looking color. Any way you slice it. And this is a very refined reel. It's manufactured in Japan. All machined aluminum side plates and frame. Uh, it's it's as price as a Rolex. As price. <laughs> as precise as a Rolex. And it has a price almost like a Rolex where it retails for anywhere between four and five. 499 shipped i think you might be able to find it for around three and if you want to buy it jnh tackles got these going out the door for around 250 250 bucks for a reel that is yeah that that's this isn't a 250 dollar reel this is this is what you what you get when you get a 400 pay or pay 400 bucks for a reel it's beautiful it's silky smooth powerful and the coolest thing and they, got, they should do this more and more and more. It's 2018. I really hope by 2019, every conventional low-profile bait casting reel, whether it's a star drag or lever drag, has that. I'll clip my mic on it so you can get an idea. That, my friends, is the best thing in the world when it comes to a conventional reel. Uh, it's not a clicker on the side plate. It's not going to be like, oh, don't be a newbie, turn your clicker off. It's, it's not that. It's a faint click, but what it does, and I have this on a couple of my higher-end uh, low-profile bait casting reels, and it's a, a, it's a wonderful feel because when you're trying to retrieve against a fighting fish, but star drags, you generally don't know if you're gaining or or not. It, it, and you could be sitting here winding or, you know, lifting and, 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 you know, short stroking, but you may not be gaining much. It's nice to have that tactile, haptic feedback. Oh, I forgot to screw this screw in after I uh, put this handle back on. Uh, it's, it's, it's a nice feature that really should be on more reels. It's kind of like when you're, you're typing on your smartphone and... You, you touch a screen, get that little haptic feedback, that little vibration, you get that. And I, I think going forward, we're going to see that more and more. It's a real simple feature to implement. It's, it's based on the drag plates inside the main gear. It's real simple for these companies to do. It doesn't cost them much. Uh, I really think they should do that a lot more. And I really, really like this reel, not just because of that feature. I like the looks of it. I like the fit and finish. I like the feel. Uh, I like round reels. I'm a round reel uh, fan, always have been. And it's really cool to see uh, this guy come out. I think it weighs in at around 10 and a half ounces. Uh, it's compact. I have, very, I have relatively small hands. I don't have big gorilla hands. And it palms nicely. And I'll put up some footage of me casting this thing. It, it's, it's a good caster as long as you kind of know what you're doing. Uh, and if, if you're throwing, you know, non-aerodynamic baits, uh, you do kind of have to pay attention a little bit more. That mainly pertains to if you're throwing this thing for, with uh, bass swim baits. But, guys, get in on this giveaway. If you want to buy it ahead of time, he only has a limited stock of these reels. So, for 250 bucks, you might want to jump on them and just flip them on eBay. <laughs> Make yourself 50 bucks. I don't know. Uh, but I, I expect that the tog jigging crowd, the fluke uh, wackos out there, uh, are going to are gonna love this thing. It, it's, it really is. A, a, a beautiful reel and for for light tackle slow pitch jigging uh and, and just to give you an, an idea if you're not familiar with what these long power handles are for they call them power handles and i i don't get that i never looked at them as being you yeah, get more torque and more leverage 90 percent of the time you're only trying to turn something this big and there's not a lot of load you can get away with using a shorter handle it's the for the freshwater bass crowd the longer handles are nice because you're using your wrist 
But what these longer handles really do an excellent job at is when you're, you're working the rod and you're jigging, you're not moving your crank handle hand, you're just moving the rod hand and it, it, it kind of just basically, depending on what length you set it at, it helps you be more efficient. You're using less energy because it's on the rod, you're lifting the rod up, when you bring it down, you're not really moving your arm, your wrist, or your shoulder on the crank handle side. That's because of the long jigging handle. And plus you get the added leverage. So there is that little bonus. So it's with all that being said, I'll do a, I'll do a quick rundown again uh, on what or how to enter the giveaway. It's super simple. Leave a comment on my review for the Penn Spin Fisher 6. It'll be out in the next couple days. And you have to be subscribed to both myself and J&H Tackle's uh, YouTube channel. That's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the comment section of that video. It's going to be coming up shortly. And I'm going to, you know, basically use a random number generator, pick from that list, see who you're subscribed to. If you can do me a solid favor, please just show your subscriptions. That way I know who you're subscribed to. It's kind of tough. You know, when I, with the last video, it took me a while. I tried reaching out to a couple people to see if they were. Nobody, they had no communication tabs for me to even you know, reach out to. So it's just one of those things where this, this will be easier for me. So in your settings, just show who you're subscribed to. Once the giveaway is done, turn it off if, if that's what you want to do. It's it's not the biggest, you know, who cares who sees you. Are you guys uh, subscribed to Justin Bieber? You just don't want to admit it? Dude's a pimp. I ain't got no problem with Bieber. Now, I wouldn't mind hanging out with him. I'd take him out fishing too. But it, it's with all that being said, all you got to do, leave a comment on the Penn Spin Fisher 6 review that's going to be coming out. Uh, subscribe to my channel and subscribe to jnhtackle.com. And until next time, guys, get an up-close look at this beast. This, this is a sweet-looking reel. It really is. I think I, I don't think I left anything out. I mean, it's got a great drag. It's, you know, umpteen pounds. It doesn't matter. You're not fishing 20 pounds of drag with this thing because you're only putting 20 pounds of braid or 20-pound braid on it. You know, with a PR knot, you get, what, a breaking strength at around 35-ish. You know, so you're only going to fish max 10, 10 pounds of drag. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I dig this reel, guys. I'm going to be sad to see this one go. <laughs> my girlfriend loves this one, too. She's like, oh, my God, it's purple. It matches my nails. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I just think it looks bad. Black and anodized metallic purple. That's... That's pretty damn sweet, if I do say so myself. So thanks for watching, guys. Tight lines. And enjoy some of this smallmouth bass footage. It's nothing special. I think the biggest fish I got was like 18, 19 inches. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> Later. God, gotta love these. The heavy ones, guys. These are the real heavy ones. And they, they don't sink like a stone. You saw that video on it, you can see how it flickers in the water. Give it a little twitch and it darts and falls. Hopefully it's showing up on camera. I got underwater footage of these things. But that side flash in the fall is like nothing else. And you can cast it this I, I can cast this 85 yards without even bat an eye. I mean that's that's 60 yards right there. So, eh, probably closer to 70, if I'm being honest. Now, in terms of distance, it may not seem like there's a lot of hang time. That's because these things fly at 60, 70 miles an hour on the way out. So they cover a lot of distance real quick. side because we don't want them to jump. We actually want to see these fish.
Another nice fish. <laughs> Supercharged bulldogs this time of year. Right, that's enough to make this here. Come on. Huh. This is actually a good fish. I got for uh half ass on that one. Don't jump. <laughs> Always willing. Is this the best fish of the day? Oh yeah, this is a nice fish. This one's 18. Easily. Fast current. The clicky drag. Smashed it. Don't tell me. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen. Is this where he pulls the hook? Is it? Is it? Is it? There we go. I would love these guys. These guys are fun. So fun. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Look at you. You're a pretty son of a... Actually, we're going to go over here make sure that that hook doesn't do any damage to his gills at all. And... Pretty. How many of you guys out there love this time of year? As much as I do. They fight so tough. <laughs>